This is Rudy Land, joined by Dickie Roper, famed arms dealer. <laughs> Today we decided, you know, we're not, we'll do a little intro. We'll try to discover what we both think the movie is about. Today's film, Peter Rabbit, sure is in some hot water today. Apparently it makes fun of people with, uh, you know, allergies. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a controversy, I heard. But... <laughs> Let's con let's forget this. Now we're just going to give our impressions of what we think the movie's about. I believe a CGI rabbit or a group of rabbits will um, put an old man in serious danger who just wants to, you know, make carrots and stuff. So you're ageist. That's what we're getting at here. The bunnies are. The bunnies are. The, it's going to be Home Alone, they're, they're but going against after old the, people. They're going after the geriatrics. <laughs> Which they don't deserve. They got enough problems on their plate. They gotta fucking get up at three in the morning and watch the taped Judge Judy yeah, episodes. They're, they're gonna like pull their walkers away from them. <laughs> they did pick a good. They did pick a good genre. I doubt there yeah. will be many old people in this theater. No, no, not unless they have Alzheimer's. Oh yeah, the movie's <laughs> Peter Rabbit. I'm not sure if I've said that yet. I'm sure you could yeah. guess from all my cues. So the old man is no doubt going to be murdered by bunnies, mm -hmm. but. They'll treat it as though it's really cute and harmless. I love bunnies, but I'd love to see them treated as equals. So, gremlins with bunnies. Yes. <laughs> but they talk, too. Yes, they, 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 they talk. I'm yes. almost certain they talk. Yeah, they've got to talk. It would be weird if they didn't. <laughs> Is the cast, like, mostly English people? Yeah, it's, uh, it seems to be all English, which makes sense because it's based on, uh, you know, an yeah. English author. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold this for me uh, for a okay. second. So, English cast, um, anybody good in it? Uh, well, you got, I think, Margot Robbie, uh, a returner. Seriously? A returner from the Are last Are you sure podcast. it's not Roby? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's Robbie. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's Margot Robbie. Is she playing a bunny or a human? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if she is, uh, um, kind of this love interest. So she'll be uh, the love interest bunny. Or it'll be like B-movie and it'll be yeah, a bunny I, I on person. I don't know person. if she's playing a, a bunny or if she's actually a Who's person. the lead bunny? The lead bunny is uh, James Groban. Or Corbin. He's Who a talk show host. Oh, that fat English dude yeah. is super gay and annoying. Yeah, he's the worst. Nothing against you if you're gay, but this dude <laughs> is super fucking gay, man. Yeah, he's, he's really kind of the, the worst. Does he still have a show? Yeah, he still has a show. He took over for uh, Craig Ferguson, who was actually he funny. was funny. Yeah, whenever I went, um, whenever I went to a place from the antenna, I'd always catch that. I'd get stoned or drunk and watch that. <laughs> I loved his skeleton. That was his fucking. <laughs> that was his best friend. Not his best friend. His co-host. Yeah. So, All right, our, so uh... <laughs> we probably don't have many high hopes for this one. Yeah. Um. I. Uh, I did see the trailer for the movie. Um. I'm sure I don't. It was incredible. Yeah, I I don't ever really watch <laughs> trailers for movies uh, because they spoil a lot. But you but, want to um, know what you were getting into for this one? Well, the thing is, is I I saw Paddington two and uh, I'm sorry we had to go through that. <laughs> no, I didn't I, even I, I see it. it. It was it was actually pretty good. Um, but, uh, but did it come with a copy of Donovan's <laughs> greatest hits on vinyl? No, it didn't. It didn't have Donovan's. But uh, anytime. Pretty goody uh, man. <laughs> Come singing songs of love. Anytime there's a there's a movie I'm really not interested in, you got to check the preview. Well, if the trailer's playing, you know I don't really need to you know close my eyes for it. I'm just sure. like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll I'll watch it. So, um, you know, I sat there and watched this Peter Rabbit trailer, and uh, it looked just batshit insane. So we'll see. I'm I, I was just I, I was like, looking yeah. forward to just having a relaxing. No expectations kind of movie. Now right. I know that that fucking English dude is in it. 
He like that just his whole per is he a gay dude? Like official? I don't if really, he is, it's fine. Yeah, I don't I, care. I don't he he acts gay, but I don't actually think he, he is plays gay. like stupid. Any of the bits or routines yes. of soon he just plays like he's a fucking idiot and yeah, it gets I, old, man. You can get away with that for a couple movies or a couple skits. But. Yeah, he's, he's got a cringy element to him. I saw him in uh, Into the Woods, which was a musical. <laughs> what was the, Into the Woods? When when did this come out? This came out a couple years ago. It had Meryl Streep and Emily Blunt. Oh, in it. okay. It was yeah. like a Disney, not maybe not by Disney, but a sort it was of Disney, Disney fantasy style. It was thing. Disney, and it was kind of like a. Mish- she played a witch, right? Yeah, it was like a mishmash of kind of Grimm's fairy tales. Is it, it good? I mean, it's. I mean, you could do worse for musicals, I guess. This segues I like me. Musicals. I hate music, except for the uh, what movie? Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I hate all musicals. Yeah. This segues me into my next thought process, though, is that I want to say when I was a kid, kids' movies were good, but they were shitty back then too. You can't get a good into good kids' movies until like well, the eighties, maybe. I mean, there were a lot of good, like, you know, animated I mean, there's films definitely in the good, 90s. There's good sort of happy, feel-good stuff, but there's no tension. Are you talking there's like no live-action kids' movies or Both. animation? Animation, live-action. There's no yeah. teeth to them. It's just like... I mean, I know Disney had a good run for The Lion King and Aladdin and all those. Yeah, you know, those were but... Pretty solid. They were They were good, but... Like the Dark Crystal, which I was looking online, is playing here or somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it was like soon. a Fathom event thing. Yeah. Does Movie Pass apply for that? I think it might because at first it didn't show up. Yeah. And then now they're starting to show up. They're not supposed to like cover special events, but I think you can. With it's this. not like the Dark. For example, we'll talk about the Dark Crystal now. It's not the greatest movie. It's not the best, but there's a certain yeah. charm to it, it, it that I it really like. It really freaked me out as a kid. Like I the, never saw it till I was like 20. Uh, I saw it when I was a kid, and just the puppets like were so. Did you ever freaky. see the witches when you were a kid? No, I know um, George Miller directed that, and I still haven't seen it. Jim Henson. Jim Henson, like, he did, like, the puppetry. He okay. Didn't it. Oh, I thought, like, Pretty it, sure he, uh... I have to take your word for it. I don't... Yeah, I, I think, can't remember. I think it was Angela Houston or I, something. Angelica like Houston yeah. was the main witch, and then... I'm almost positive. Mr. Bean George was in it. Director. Other than that, he there was, was nobody in it. Yeah. Two little kids. Yeah. One was... They were both annoying. Yeah, I think the... Grandma! <laughs> Grandma! We gotta stop the Grand High Witch! <laughs> Anyways, that's another one where it's, like... There was stakes, there was tension, the Black Cauldron, because I think we both, I just talked about two live action sort of ones, the Black Cauldron. It's like, not the greatest movie, but the villain, the atmosphere are all pretty charismatic in themselves. Yeah, yeah another hand drawn animated movie. I like those too. There's more, I don't know if it's like you lose something going completely digital, but for me, animated is, um, hand animation, there's something. There's a certain uniqueness, certain character about it. Yeah, it feels more special. You know, it just because uh, you know that somebody actually sat there and fucking drew this. Oh yeah, frame after frame. But after then again, frame. computer animating, like you gotta yeah, animate the fucking hard. creature. Yeah. Yeah. There's it only just, been it a just co- doesn't look as good. Yeah, though. there's only been a couple times where I've seen a CGI movie and I was like, wow, this looks really good. Inside Out, there was at least one moment where I saw it and I was like, wow, this actually looks really. Really cool. That's, that's one of the Pixar films I haven't seen yet. I've. I mean, it's good. It's a, maybe a little too sappy, but yeah. Well, that's kind of their thing. They want to make you cry. Spielberg animated Spielberg movies. Yeah. What are some of your favorite uh, child children's movies? Well, I mean, I, I do have a soft spot actually for Peter Rabbit. Yeah, uh, when I was a kid, there was there was um, like a half-hour cartoon movie or something, right? Yeah, there was. Um, I uh, vaguely remember it. Yeah, there was a series called uh, like Peter Rabbit and His Friends, and it was done in like '93. And uh, my mom, she bought me like the the collection. It was on VHS, and. Uh, they were amazing, you know. They're, they're all like a half an hour each, and you know they're all about mice and, and, and rabbits and stuff like that. Did you ever see creatures. Watership Down? No, I still haven't seen that. So another really yeah. good one. There's stakes in it, like there's tension. It's not. I wouldn't say. I'd say it's maybe a mature kids movie. Like I wouldn't send a five or four year old into it, but yeah, yeah. it's good. There was when I was a kid. Kids movies didn't really do it for me because like I knew. At the back of my mind, or consciously, I knew that nothing bad was going to happen to them. Whoever, the good thing was going to happen at the end. 
I, don't know, I just, when I was a kid, I just remember crying in a lot of movies. You like, know what everyone really was freaked dying. me out? Carrie. Carrie. There's, like, the right in the beginning, there's this one section where she locks her, like, uh... She locks her, like, in a dress in a closet. And for some reason, it, like, pans on... Pans on this, um... Crucifix with Jesus, with these bright, glowing eyes, and the lighting is perfect, so it looks super creepy. That really freaked me out when I was a kid. I'll always remember that. Chucky, too. Yeah. Watching Chucky now, films. though, it's funny. It's very funny. Yeah, I haven't revisited the uh, the first film in a while. I did see um, the two most recent movies on Netflix, and they were terrible. Yeah, I can only imagine. Cult of Chucky and... Uh, well, because the first I can't one, remember the other one, the Seed of Chucky, that may have been way back. Yeah, Seed of Chucky was like years few, ago. Yeah, a few back, like over ten years. Well, the thing is, the first one, maybe I've never seen the second. I can't. I've seen it, but I can't remember it. I was so young. <coughs> the thing about it was that they were a little bit tongue in cheek. They knew that they were shit. They weren't trying to be scary. They were trying to be kind of cheesy and funny. Yeah, I mean, as as the sequels progress, it's but they were cheesier. subtle. They weren't. They weren't exactly subtle about it. But they weren't fucking slapping you in the face with it, like. Yeah, I mean, I think the the first movie was very creepy and and, and disturbing, especially uh, for a little kid. Imagine like yeah, your entire I mean, life you have you're surrounded by these toys at night as you're sleeping. Yeah, I mean, my sister she actually bought me a clown. And it had a sad face. <laughs> and I literally, I, I would tell my dad, I'm like, I can't, I can't sleep. I would have nightmares all the time. My buddy. He actually had to get rid of it. My buddy house. doll. My brother would come home really drunk and he would like set it up over my bed with like a knife <laughs> in its hand or something. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what brothers do, you know, trying to traumatize. <laughs> it was rough. It was rough. <laughs> this, um, this may be the cause for my socio sociopathic killing sprees. <laughs> Forget I said that. <laughs> we'll just edit that out later. Yeah, don't worry. Nobody, nobody will hear this, especially after I murder you. <laughs> so, Dickie Roper, you excited for this one? You know, I'm, uh, I'm cautiously optimistic. Actually. I'm going. I, see, I, I was okay. I was fine going in, like yeah. no expectations. If I see something goofy, I laugh. Right. If I see something bad, I'll laugh because how bad yeah, it is. I definitely don't think it's going to be a good movie, but uh, James Corden is the star. <laughs> apparently, He's, he voices Peter Rabbit. Yeah, Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. <laughs> I'm going to forever call her Margot Robbie now, just because I I set the precedent. Yeah, and, precedent uh, has Dommel been set. Donald Gleason is in it. Donald Gleason. Donald Gleason. Who's Donald Gleason? He was in uh, Star Wars, uh, The Last Jedi. Mm -hmm. He plays General Hunt. He was in The Revenant. Didn't see uh, The Revenant yet. He was in American Maid, which was decent. American he's, Maid. Uh, he's Brendan Gleeson's son. Who is Brendan Gleeson? <laughs> he's a great... You say uh, that like I'm supposed he's to... A, he's a great actor. He, he was in In Bruges. Uh, he was in Bad oh, I love his. I love his dad, Jackie. <laughs> But uh, I still haven't seen him Bruges. I think yeah, we maybe talked about this last time too. Yeah. Um, and he was also in Ben Affleck's latest movie, Live by Night. What's um, Live by Night? I never saw that either. Any good? Not, no, not good. Not good at all. I'm not a it's, big fan uh, of Ben Affleck's directing. You know, we talk about everything yeah. but Peter Rabbit, and I think that's <laughs> that's we're both we're dreading going Peter, in here. Avoiding the Peter Rabbit discussion. Um. But uh, so so you think uh, there's gonna be a lot of murder? Is is what? I hope not. Murder I of hope old so. people. Yeah, yeah. I, Maybe I mean, not a, a ton of murder, but definitely yeah. at least tons of salt, well, assaults, and from, sexual ones. From what too. I've seen, it looks to be quite a violent film. Who plays the old man? Uh, I didn't see an old man. <laughs> there's got to be an old man because that's they're the one who. Who gets harassed by Peter and his rabbity friends? Well, what I've heard is that this is not a actual remake of Peter Rabbit. This is yeah, like but a, you got to uh, use continuation like, of Peter Rabbit. So we might be getting thrown a curveball here, like Superman Returns. You yeah. know, I actually didn't mind that much. Why did everyone dislike you it know, so much? I, I hated that movie when it came out, and it became known as the movie where he never threw one punch. That's what everyone said. He never threw through one punch. I do remember that one scene where he's getting shot at, and I'm thinking, this is incredibly awkward. Yeah. But. Yeah. Brendan Ralph, you know, I mean, he's on TV now. His career kind of, uh, you know, went into the shitter. He went that. from the Man of Steel to the Man... To uh, the uh, the gay guy and Zach and Mary make a porno. 
I never saw that. <laughs> you never did? Yeah, it's uh, there's one really funny scene, and then that's it. <laughs> Just like a Serbian film. <laughs> well, yeah. I think um, I think it's about that time. We um, we, we bet everyone to do. <laughs> unless there's some sort of shooting or fire inside the theater, <laughs> we'll be back in about that's an hour forty-five. <laughs> you know? Yeah. This is uh, Rudy Land and Dickie Roper <laughs> signing out. All right, guys, it's pretty warm out here. It's I'm in shorts and no shirt, yeah, sweating my ass off. Yeah, sipping on some margaritas. You know, the honeys are all in bikinis. Sipping on, sucking on my toes as we speak. <laughs> yeah. Um, we just got done with Peter Rabbit. It yes. uh, the uh, it was a movie. Yeah, the the reboot of the children's classic. It, uh, why don't you tell us what what'd you think there, bud? Your immediate reaction. My immediate reaction. Um, well, it's a terrible film. <laughs> it's a it's a very very terrible film. Uh, I mean, there's there's so much to say and also so little to say. <laughs> I was I was ready to blow my brains out from the moment it started until well, the moment it ended. I I disagree. I think it it started out. And I was like, wow, this is, like, okay. Yeah? And then it just completely well, went off the fucking rails. I started off guarded. Like, I'm like, okay, it's not as <laughs> shitty as I thought it'd be. I'll give yeah. it a chance. But it just it never came back. It just stayed low. Yeah, no. It, I mean, the, the biggest problem that I have with the movie is the humans in it are fucking terrible. I mean, when you first see the main actor in the movie... I don't know if you noticed this, but, uh, like, the makeup on his face, it, I mean, he looks like a tranny. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah. like, who did his makeup? He looks awful. I mean, he looks like a woman. It's, uh... It was rough. It was, <laughs> it was uh... It was, it was rough, certainly. It was, it was definitely very rough. Uh, Rose Byrne, who... You, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of hot and cold on her as an actress. Yeah. You know? She was okay in Bridesmaids. You know, she's got moments. I still haven't seen her. At Bridesmaids is pretty funny, but she's good uh, in First and City. She's for uh, sure. she's the owner of these rabbits. She's she owns a house next to uh, uh, the McGregor uh, household, and um, there's a, there's a love story. Yeah, there's, I did not expect to see a love story yeah, in this. Well, I did. I believe either story. going in or right as before it starting, I was asking, is it going to be Peter is in love with the, whoever the real woman is? I thought it'd be Margot Robbie. Yeah, I no. was wrong. Margot Robbie is is voicing a rabbit in this movie. Um, Honestly, I couldn't tell. I didn't know to yeah. couldn't tell one from the other. Yeah. I've never heard her speak in an English or right. her natural Australian accent. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, accent, I didn't know until so we saw the credits, like who she was. I almost thought I was like, oh, maybe she wasn't actually uh, in the movie. Do you just have a fetish for Margot? Do you <laughs> hope she's in every movie? <laughs> yeah, well, we're two for two, you know. <laughs> um, do I? The question is, do I have a thing <laughs> for Margot Robbie? Do you have e? a? <laughs> well, I mean, if I met her, I'm sure I'd love to talk and talk and talk about our dreams uh, yeah yeah but um, and about jared leto's <laughs> penis oh yeah she knows all about jared leto's penis huh <laughs> for all if the movies are to be believed absolutely she's all got that she got that joker dick <laughs> my my thoughts on the film i wanted to kill myself the yeah, entire you, time seen, yeah i just there was a couple well, moments <clears throat> where like I chuckled. Oh yeah, there's there's a couple, a couple chuckle moments. There's definitely a couple funny jokes, and there's also some like dark humor. Like there's yeah. there's a joke about um, home wrecking <laughs> in this movie. Yes, which uh, nobody laughed at, and it was just like, wow, you've got a home wrecking joke in your Peter Rabbit movie. Yeah, there was a bunch of kids there. <laughs> nobody laughed at the joke. I didn't even. No, it was very. It was, I understood it was that it was a joke, but it's just... It was off-putting. That's a problem with a lot... A lot of the jokes here were like... Remind me of sitcoms, you know? Um, yeah, well, it was shot like a sitcom. It looked Not terrible. funny, not... Yeah, very terribly just shot. Just run-of-the-mill, insert-joke-here kind of shit. Yeah. The entire movie felt like a music video. Yeah. Every, oh, yeah. Just That's loosely connected music video. And they had some really poor good songs but poor choices for a kids movie well some of them were like covers of the songs too they weren't actually the yeah. real person singing it um which is fine but still the <laughs> songs probably aren't appropriate for oh yeah this child's there's, movie there's literally the mike shinoda song 
remember the name, which is by his group that, Fort Minor. That was which the came one out when the, like we were in high school. <laughs> that was the one you get your blood pumping up yeah. and you do this. Okay. Remember the name, yeah. It Except was pretty rough. They it's a cover of the song and they add like celery and like apples and stuff they're adding. Yeah. Uh uh, th I mean, that's the other thing that's my biggest problem with the movie is there's so many music montages. That was the entire movie. There's, that's what all kids' oh, movies are. To uh, me, I don't know, man. I, I, I mean, listen, I just came off of Paddington 2 like a couple weeks ago. You said was, you liked it, It was right? fucking great. It's got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. Uh, it's like the best reviewed movie in Rotten Tomatoes history. Uh, and the first one's on Netflix, and it's really enjoyable. I didn't watch the first one um, either. It's just like... The, the sad part about this is kids deserve better than this shit. You know what I mean? Like, they really do. Yes. And I'm sure, you know, the kids in the theater had fun. You know, they were jumping up and down. And... Dancing and shit. Yeah, every they, time they, there they was had a, fun. Every song time there was a song I liked, they were motionless <laughs> and silent. Every time there was a new song where it's like... <laughs> bang, 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 right. They're all fucking dancing around right. and shit. Yeah, it's... Um, Short movie too. It's 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 ninety minutes. It felt for fucking ever. Yeah, it, it, it did. I was waiting for it to be over with. It uh, it drags, but you know, uh, yeah, like the the music montages were just awful. It felt um, like just loosely connected music videos every two to three yeah, minutes. That'd the, be just some sort of montage. Well, I have, I have to ask you. Looking at the movie and and because I do think the CG looked good. I, that's why right. I told you that when we first got yeah. there, the CGI up close looked really, really yeah. good. It, like you the, still could tell it was CGI. But oh yeah, they definitely put and a shit ton on, of effort on into certain it. animals. It looked bad, like the pig. Yeah, the pig was. The I pig, hated the pig. The pig looks terrible, and and the the same joke For of him, the pig yeah. is oh he's he shoves his face he's a with pig shit. and he can't control yeah, right, exactly. eating himself. I'm like okay. As He's soon like, as they yeah. did it, I'm like, they're gonna do this the entire goddamn movie, well, and, and they fucking did and it. And they keep repeating like the same. They did it joke. for everybody too, yeah. actually. Yeah, it's like, oh, he's like, oh, I'm gonna go on my diet now, and then he shoves his face with something, and he's like, oh, no. now, and then he shoves his face again, and he's like, now, and then he walks off no. camera, and then he reaches, yeah. and pulls something and off camera, says, now. now, yeah. And that, and, and the kids didn't even laugh at that because see, that's what I was funny. surprised the most about the kids. They um. There was a few they moments seemed they pretty laughed. joyless. I mean, yeah, no, the kids didn't really dig the movie. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, so, like we said, you know, the CGI looked good. So, I have to ask you, um, you know, after seeing the movie, what do you think the budget of this movie was? Like, do well, you think if the production Sony, value looks, you know, decent? If it, it was Sony, so it's like three times what it should have been right off the bat. Yeah. I'm going to bet. I would guess right around... 150, 200 million. <laughs> you think it was 200 million dollars? Oh my God! Wow, no. Uh, How much was it? it? It was a 50 million dollar budget, which I thought was a lot. You know, because it's a live action movie. It, yeah. it is a live action movie, and it doesn't. Why don't take they do place Roger in, like, Rabbit style live action? Why do they do? Is it way easier to do CGI? I mean, the, the reality is, these the, the studio execs when they hear. Like, oh, hand-drawn. Oh, practical effects. They go, no, we, we understand CGI. We understand you hand this to the computer people. Yeah. And they type shit in a computer. And, and they'll pay done. more money for that. They don't want to hear, oh... Yeah. Like, it's like with sci-fi movies. Like, like you know, with, like, Kubrick using models for, you know, 2001. Yeah. You know, Christopher Nolan did some of that for Interstellar, but... Studios don't want to hear that shit. Even though you're saying, "Oh, it'll cost a lot less if we do this technique," they don't. They want to spend more money because they don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah. They understand CGI. We understand. Oh, there's computer people. Here you go. So that's sad, man. Because yeah, every I love, I love hand drawn animation. Like I said before. Well, that's the thing is that the best parts of the movie was when they show hand drawn animation. It could have like, been good, wow. but it's it. It's it's, they it's didn't, altered. They didn't yeah. work too hard for it. It just was sort of like mm -hmm. somebody spent a couple weekends on it. That's the yeah. that's the feeling I got from the old the old timey like the old cartoon style. They show yeah. briefly. I mean, right? some of it looked good, I thought, and then there were scenes later that definitely uh, looked um, uh, digitally altered. Let me just. Uh, I wrote them. I had to write them down as I heard them, just because it was back to back to back the song selections yeah. we had in a big country crash into me 
by Dave Matthews. Oh, uh, well, oh that was the, the walk 100 miles was the worst. Walk a thousand, thousand miles. miles. That was steal awful. my sunshine. They're like taking songs that have completely different meanings to yeah. what they're applying them to. Oh, it was Crash like, Enemy has is about fucking somebody, man. Right, That's yeah. what Crash Enemy is about. Well, like I said, remember the name is just a rap song. That's right. Yes. We put in this. Um, How much was the budget again? Fifty million. Fifty million. At least thirty or forty went to the this CG. music. The and then music, the actors' man. salaries. The actors yeah. were good. Like nobody did a uh, really bad. Who did a bad dude, Rose job? Rose Byrne was fucking terrible. Come she wasn't shit. And, and Tom O'Gleason, he's he's so over the top and awful. And yeah. I get it. It's a Peter Rabbit. You're not trying to be serious, but he, yeah. I. You know, he can be good, and I've seen him really give me, fucking Give me another terrible. movie. He, give me another movie I would have seen that he was in. Tell me. He was again. good in The Revenant. Didn't see it again, I told he you. He was good in American Made, which was a Tom Cruise movie. Okay. Uh, that was of, the, yeah, about I the remember Medellin it. kind of cartel Yeah, thing. the CIA yeah. running drugs. and he, he's really good in that. He plays a CIA guy. Was that movie good? Uh, it's really, it's worth a watch. You know, it's, I enjoyed it. I'm, I mean, I Lately, I can't stand problem. Tom Cruise. He, um, went from being in, like, Stanley Kubrick's yeah. last film to just a string of mediocre action movies. Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely gone on uh, some weird directions. Well, he makes, he, he gets, produces them. He gets the production. He gets his special writing team to write it up for him. <laughs> right. Yeah, Chris McQuarrie writes everything he does. It's, um... He looks good. He's making tons of cash. That's all he's concerned with, I suppose. But So, um, I mean, I guess we shouldn't be surprised that it's a bad movie. The, the director... Who was the director? Will Gluck. <laughs> You've probably never, ever heard of him. No. Uh, he did Friends with Benefits. Didn't see it. Ashton <laughs> yeah. Kutcher one? No, 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 no. That was no, no strings attached. That was Justin Timberlake and Natalie Justin, Portman? No, Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis. And the other movie that came out that that same year was No Strings Attached with Ashton Kutcher yeah. and Natalie Portman. Well, I was pumped. I um, thought we were going to get back to the cycle of dueling yeah. movies like yeah. Armageddon and fucking Deep Impact. So he, he directed that movie and he directed the Annie remake. I didn't see it. It had a I little black girl, right? His, yeah, and, and everyone hated it. Was so, it like because it was bad or just because it was a little black girl or something? Well, I think it was because it was shit in a pointless remake. Like the movie yeah. from... You know, the eighties, the eighties, right? like it's it's a time capsule. I remember you know, seeing it on TV. Oh, or I've something seen it a million a times. My my grandmother loved that movie. I hate musicals, much yeah, like so. You, so. <laughs> and this movie is trying to be a musical. Like the beginning sequence uh, is where I went. Oh god, I was so we're in trouble. When the, the birds, birds came up, they looked great, but it's <laughs> the most. They're in flying in unison, and they're singing. You know, standard sort yeah, of fantasy singing. Disney fair. A really weird song. They were rapping that. They were rapping the song that you were talking about. I got one leg open. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> what does that mean? I got one leg yeah, open. Well, Mike should know it's not. Get me to rapper. a hospital, son. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's sad because, like I say, you look at the CG and you go, "You could have really made a good, good. movie. You could have made seen a fucking any good other movie." Sony it, like the Smurfs movie, did you see that? No, did they look I, good? I am not gonna go. It's supposed so, to be really I bad. I can't do that shit. Dude. I never saw that one either. You gotta draw the line at some point, <laughs> and it's like I'm not fucking watching Smurf movies. You did watch. You did watch <laughs> and enjoy Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> the first one's good. Sorry, first it's one's okay. First one's That's good. a problem with kids' movies nowadays. Is, this guy. movie was completely forgettable to me. Like oh, yeah, tomorrow, was... I'm not gonna remember any of this. <laughs> yeah, I was forgetting. Like um, I tried to make a mental note I was to remember. Watching it. I was just out of my ears to remember some of the lines that I heard and they're gone yeah it's man. like I, there, were, there were the funny scenes like I, there was uh, one time I yeah, can't even remember the one time when um she first is upset with him Rose Byrne McGregor she's first upset with him and he's coming off like a crazy person no they talk this side oh you know oh yeah that was kind of funny um it, yeah. I guess there's a lot of moments where you were laughing and I wasn't. A lot of moments where I was laughing and you well, weren't. Well, I was, yeah, it was, uh, it was, I mean, the humor, some of I was laughing just because I'm like, oh my God, this is so terrible. Yeah. You know? And then there were some scenes. I wasn't in the mindset for that. Yeah. I mean, l my expectations were very low. I mean, I was like never even going to watch this movie until I saw the trailer and the trailer looked batshit insane and... The trailer put all the bad shit and <laughs> shit insane moments. You know what the most upsetting part of this whole experience is to me? People got upset about 
the allergy the thing. allergy yeah, thing and they apologize say. for it in the movie right yeah. afterwards they say i'll expect your letters and he looks directly at the camera peter Rabbit. Yeah. wouldn't want to get any letters about this and sony actually apologized yeah i saw that they apologize for it which is i mean listen they're spineless we expect well they gotta of course if anybody so, complains just apologize yeah. who cares it doesn't matter if it was just some random dude on reddit who like doesn't even have allergies <laughs> He's like, you're allergy shaming people. I thought they were going to try, I thought that they were going to like kill him or something with his black raspberry. Oh, the blackberry black allergy. Blackberry. Yeah. Allergy. But it just, they well, gave it to him and he pulled out the EpiPen and popped it in. Yeah. It. Well, I mean, that's kind of the crazy thing is that the movie was kind of shockingly violent for a kid's movie. It had that old school, like, Three Stooges type of, yeah. like, really violent, like, slapping each other, you know, stepping on uh, rakes, you know, and hitting each other in the head. They totally he's, ripped he off. He puts his hands in bear traps. Yes. Like, and he's... As soon as like, I saw them, like, is his like, hands not bleeding? They just sort of... Oh, no, of, there's no blood, yeah. They just sort of hug his hands loosely? Yeah. Well, there, there was a couple moments where I was like, holy shit. Like, I was like, it was. Sh I was shocked by, like, what was... Hmm. Like, even at the beginning when you see Sam Neill... Uh, who plays old man attack. Craig? I did not expect that. He, to pokes, he pokes his eye. The beer, uh, the bear trap goes off in his yeah. beard, and it shocked me. Um, yeah, it's. Um, I mean, like uh, the CG animals, they were, you know, they were cute. They were fine, but I mean, like we said in the intro, like James, like Corden, Crobin, whatever his fucking name is, it's annoying. he sucked, dude. It's annoying. He was the worst. Nah. Like he voices Peter Rabbit, and he didn't. Just like, and he wasn't the even the worst. Up. He wasn't even the worst part of this. Well, what did you think was the worst part? The, I mean, the, the just the soundtrack, the whole, thing, the whole all together. Just the entire the entire movie is just. It's what kids. It represents what's bad about kids' movies to me now. Yeah. It's just and, and it's it's a weird lazy cheap yeah. jokes. With it's, no real story. It's it's a weird movie to, like, reboot to in 2018. Well, they're because, doing everything. They, they just made it yeah. a death wish, man. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Paddington has been a big success. So that's probably it one made, of the it did reasons. Well. Yeah, it did really well, both films, you know, especially internationally. And because both of them are British properties, you know, Beatrix Potter, yeah. who, who wrote Peter Rabbit. But... You know, she she was born in the 1800s. You know, so it's like this is very yeah, it's, it's very separate yeah, from what she intended. And this isn't like um, uh, it's not like the original. It's very just totally different. It's like a pop. It's like a pop song. Yeah, it's re it's a total There's nothing to it. Reimagining of uh, the um, total reimagining of the uh, the original, and uh, I would definitely tell people to. Never watch this. <laughs> Just this is, like go back and watch the um, uh, the, the uh, one. No, the the one from the nineties, the World of Peter Rabbit and Friends. It came out in like ninety three, and there's like nine episodes. It's great for your kids. You know, they're like thirty minutes. You know, you know, it's worth like trying. They look it really down. good. I feel yeah, like it, I've definitely seen them when I was a kid. Not only is it like hand drawn animation, but it has a watercolor vibe to it which makes it even look kind of even more beautiful yeah. um so i i mean and they cared back then you know there was there was artistry and you know this is i mean obviously nobody's setting out to make a bad movie but you know i mean i don't see how anybody who's you know seeing a test screening of this is like wow yeah i'm really proud of this yeah and, uh, and and I was nostalgic for the property, you know. I mean, like I said, I saw it when I was a kid, um, and you know, my mom got it for me. But I I wasn't excited to see this movie. Um, I thought, wow, this is a very random property to bring back. Let me ask you this: If you were excited, would it have made it worse if you wanted to see this? Uh, if I really wanted to see it, would oh yeah, I would have been way pissed okay. yeah for sure see here's the thing i was I, i'm not like even angry like yeah. I, i'm just kind of like okay well that fucking sucked yeah I mean, i'm the same way like i wasn't really expecting much but even it, not expecting much it was there was nothing to it it's yeah. just so vacant of anything any heart any thought any backbone man it was like yeah it's like eating it's i don't know it's like eating a bag of ice man <laughs> you're not really 
You're not. <laughs> you're gonna a be, bag of ice. You're gonna be full of water, and you're not gonna have nothing. No and nourishment. And your teeth are gonna have lots of cracks in them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and you're gonna have to go to the dentist. Um, Incidentally, I have not been to the dentist in quite a few years. If anybody knows anyone, <laughs> contact Rudy Land. <laughs> care of the moon. The teeth cleanings are like a hundred bucks, dude. It's not even that bad. I don't got cash for that. Yeah. I got I live a lavish lifestyle, man. So you're, just, you're just waiting until they all fall off. I see children. I see children's movies <laughs> at an alarming rate. You pay thirteen. Twelve ninety. Twelve ninety. Twelve ninety for uh And you rabbit. almost paid twelve ninety. Yeah, but I would have got a refund. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Two steps ahead, my friend. Two steps ahead. Oh, we got a refund. Um, yeah, this uh just just not a good movie. Just there's not really a lot to say except it's not good. <laughs> nah. Uh it's not good, but it's also it upsets me because it's sort of I just like I said it, I think it symbolizes what has become entertainment now. It's well, and it actually, it's, like, done pretty well. Like, uh, yeah. it opened to, like, $25 million, you know, which... It's the only kids' movie. It's Valentine's. Yeah, well, time, I mean, Paddington I 2 is still out, which yeah. kids should definitely go see Paddington 2. Like, if you... If, I mean, I mean, first of all, I feel like if any parent was listening to this, they would have turned it off. They would be like, what the fuck are these people? <laughs> we are the ones <laughs> who will come for your children. For... We yeah, come yeah. for them in the night. <laughs> That's why we saw the kids. Excuse <laughs> what I just said. <laughs> oh, that was another terrible fucking joke. Is one of the <laughs> the kids are in the toy store and the rabbit pretends the to be like, a robot. I'm a robot child, do not. <laughs> yeah, that really confused me because I laughed at it because at like, first, this is so fucking at first <laughs> they had the logic that you can't understand the bunnies. Like right, he was yeah. talking to the bunny was talking they, at people. Yeah, the logic they couldn't is, understand them. Then all yeah. of a sudden later in the store. I am a bunny. Oh, yeah. a talking bunny. He can talk. I mean, technically, the movie doesn't establish rules. It, yeah. it doesn't explicitly say they well, can't hear like them. Well, like you said, it's a fucking Three Stooges episode, Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, except, yeah, and you should also, you'd be way, way better off watching Three Stooges or... Well, speaking of Giannelli, how about that pig? <laughs> the it was so rabbit. frustrating. Just, <laughs> that's what comedy is now, man. It's like... <laughs> Just sitcom, the yeah, same like, jokes, recycled, yeah, recycled like, hey, here, here's recycled a, there. Here's a pig in a coat. Isn't this funny? He's Laugh at fat. It. He's gonna. He's he gonna, wasn't even fat. That's a yeah, he's a small was pig. Like he's a, a pig, pig, so he's just gonna stuff his face. That's his character yeah. trait. James yeah. Corden, he didn't bother me as much as you. I didn't really. I, it was kind of annoying at some points, but it didn't really. Yeah, you know, sometimes he was fine, and the next he was just like, drove me nuts. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's boringly shot. It's it makes a complete tonal shift towards the end where it got kind of dark. Little, yeah, well, all of a sudden Peter Rabbit is upset that he's like ruined this I, guy's I life. called it. I told I like, you. What? Didn't I tell you? Why are you when upset? I was, you hate that's this guy. That's the thing about this movie. To kill you. It was just a mix of other movies. Like yeah. it had a little bit of Rat Race. It had a little rat bit race. of uh, Roger Rabbit, where the, they could actually yes. talk, but it was CGI. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean it, it had. It ripped, uh, yeah. So, um, uh, on the Rudy Land scale, what would you give this movie out of 10? Because I already know what I'm giving it. <laughs> be a four. Be a four? Wow. Four, really. That's Everything looked, the CGI looked really good. Yeah, the CG was good. CG was good. But everything else was yeah. dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Yeah, I mean, my first, uh, instinct was, you know, a carrot emoji. <laughs> Yeah. The carrot emoji out of time. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, between three and four. I mean, I feel like I give it a three, you know, then you're saying it's completely incompetent. And I kind of feel like it is because of the whole music montages. I feel like when they didn't know what to do, they, they just, just had a music, had a music montage. montage. <laughs> so, yeah, Let's try I, try to remember three. with me the three. Yeah, three. yeah for sure. Three. Try to remember with me what the music montages were. The first Don't one was in the, the beginning <laughs> to introduce them. Yeah, but a lot of the songs I just didn't remember. <laughs> it wasn't about like this. I can't like, believe they I, I was like, I know this song. Into me, they just played in the they played <laughs> right. in the background. Yeah, and I could hear it. I'm like, they're seriously playing this song right now. It feel it felt like the director had his like iTunes playlist, and he was like, hey, let's take all these songs, and yeah. let's put them in the movie. Like this is my workout regimen. Like these are the songs I like, and so I put them in the movie. And they don't work at all. 
like there's not one well in the beginning there's like some french song that kind of works and then it turns into some weird like it turns into like weird electric i even said that in the theater i was like i kind of liked that before it turned all fucking techno-y and shit and uh yeah, I mean the movie's just stupid. It's and it's and it knows it's stupid. It's, it's at the same level as like a Nickelodeon sitcom, like yeah. iCarly or something, or like you know we ever have a little nephew or a little baby around and they have to watch that Mickey Mouse Clubhouse show. Oh right, yeah, it's that awful. is. It just shows you how stupid this movie was. Maybe yes, part. incredibly <laughs> dumb. Guys, there's something we left out. Even though it's already a really long video, we're just we're not gonna make a huge comment about it. We're just gonna leave it for you yes. to think about. Like 2001: A Space Odyssey. Of course, it's yes. for your thoughts. You think Very about this. Existential. Early on in the film, there's a farmer portrayed by the guy from Jurassic Park, oh, whose Sam name Neal. eludes me. <laughs> Sam Neill. He Sam. looks really big now. Doesn't look a lot like himself. Very very scraggly beard. Old mouth of madness, Sam Neill. Yeah, he looks. Anyways. Like, uh... What's he look like? He looks like, um, uh, oh, what's that guy? Chef Boyardee. <laughs> oh, man, it's like he's a mountain man. Everyone. The mountain <laughs> man from Rudolph? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's something like Grizzly Adams. Grizzly Adams! Okay, he there you like go. Grizzly Adams. It took you a minute, but you found yeah, it. We got it. We got there. He, Smoke. <laughs> he is, for some reason, he's bending over picking up gardening tools, trying to kill a bunny or something. Yeah. I was way off on what was going to happen in the movie, by the way, but you probably guessed that. <laughs> and his pants, he's got plumber's crack, selling that crack, plumber's <laughs> crack, plumber's crack clickety-clack. <laughs> and Peter notice, notices, it goes on for a little too long, it's yeah. a little awkward, but well, Peter notices. Old male nudity. So he walks up to him. He, 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 as he's holding a carrot. As he's holding a carrot. He's looks at the at carrot, his sisters. Look at looks his sister. at his sisters, <laughs> looks at the carrot, looks at the crack, back to the carrot, back to the sisters, back to the crack. Yeah. He wants so, to shove this carrot up this old man's ass. <laughs> they, um, carrot-based sodomy is in this film. And, but, I mean, listen, he, he does have some respect. It's a very dirty carrot. Yes. It has lots of dirt on it. And he, and he does he does dust it off before he, he attempts it. He doesn't want it. all that dirt in the guy's asshole. <laughs> So just just FYI for any concerned parents, this film does feature an attempted sodomy with a vegetable. By a rabbit. By a cartoon, not a cartoon, a CGI rabbit. A CGI rabbit tries to anally rape an old man with a carrot. Skippity-boop-bop-boo! <laughs>